Hello. Hello. Welcome. We're back. That was a really, like, dignified, forceful clap. It was. <laughs> but also humble. It was a very humble clap. You knew your power. We are on hold of Malchut. Yay. Day five of week seven. Mm-hmm. Sovereignty is God's gift to each individual. Hod of Malchut is the humble appreciation of this exceptional gift. This one I find a little bit, I don't know, I, I'm suddenly thinking about, for example, like one of my friend's sisters has cerebral palsy, like the really bad kind where she kind of just lays there on the floor and has her whole life. And so I'm like, anyone that's like mentally handicapped in any way, like what sovereignty do they really have? I don't know. Yeah. That, that's kind of a hard one I suddenly thought about. Yeah. Well, and or like physically, like to the point where they barely have their own life or mentally that they could not survive without other people. Yeah. I don't get it. But listen, I mean, that's really rough, but at the same time, like these, these people in these lives, they're super valuable and they're wonderful people. Usually. I mean, I've had the privilege of knowing a couple of people who are like, um, the phrase is like severely uh, disabled, but, um, in reality, like most of these folks are pretty great. And there's a phrase that we use called assume competence, um, which is just like, assume that they're capable of things. And if you start to approach people with that, like assuming that they're capable of things, it, they surprise you all of the time. So, yeah. Yeah. But if they're like, I don't know, I don't want to go that, that far down, but yeah. I hear you. Cause it's like, if they barely have any muscle strength, then what competence do they have? Um, mental competence usually. Yeah. If they're lucky, I guess. Mm-hmm. Hode of Malchut is the humble appreciation of this exceptional gift. Does my sovereignty and independence humble me? Do I ever think about the fact that, like, I'm, I'm, I sh- I'm very humbled to be in the position? That yeah, I'm I mean, because the other questions sort of define it. Am I an arrogant leader? Do I appreciate the special qualities I am blessed with? Yeah. So, do do my sovereignty and independence humble me? Am I? Do I appreciate the special qualities? I appreciate the special qualities I'm blessed with. Yeah. That's the easiest answer to answer. One of the things that um, I had. Um, I had directed at this theater for a while and um, somebody else had been asked to direct at this theater and they were asking me for advice. And one of the things I said to them was just by virtue of the fact that you are the adult in the situation because it was a youth theater, um, they're going to respect you Mm -hmm. because you're an adult. So you need to work to be worthy of that respect. Um, And that's how I often feel when I'm in a position of authority over others is like, I feel very humbled to be there. I know that I'm good at it. Like I, I've gotten to the point where I know that I'm a good leader, but um, I do feel very humbled about the fact that I get to be a leader. That feels really cool to me. Um, and I'm very, I try to be very, very aware of the things that I say because I remember when I was a child, the things that my teachers said. Yeah. I know. Or like the smallest thing can stay with a kid forever. Forever. Like I won't even remember that I said it, um, but they'll remember it for years. And that's, that's rough for me. I get scared of that very yeah, often. Because you don't want to say something that causes a kid to lose self-esteem for the rest of, like, I don't know, several years. Yeah, I don't want them <laughs> and... to think that they suck because of something I said. Yeah, to them. wow. Yeah, that is a lot of pressure. I was just thinking about last night, my landlord's other grandchild that I, who's only two going on three, I think in August, um, was over and I've only seen her I saw her at her birthday when I first moved in and like she was barely talking at that point and now she's like talking and like wandering around and like just because as far as like you, you were talking about being the adult like she's met me twice in her life but she already like loves me and was like got, taking me and, like be like come see the dogs like taking my hand and like and like giving me food like cause she she like put a chip in cheese queso dip and like gave it to me <laughs> And I was like, she, like, the, the trust that little kids put in you, right? like, it's undeserved. You worthy of that. I know, and then you feel so bad, you're like, oh, if only you knew how bad the world is. <laughs> and, like, like, if only the world could be as good as little kids think it is. And, yeah. And, like, automatically trusting this adult that she's never met really before, and she probably doesn't remember me from the first time she met me. Yeah. But so, like, there you have to be aware and, like, humble, I guess, like, in the fact that this creature puts their entire trust in you and like you don't deserve it yeah. and <laughs> um am like does my sovereignty and independence humble me um i guess maybe yeah like when i'm thinking about when i'm actually in a position of power then i kind of don't think about it as much other times i'm i'm like vividly aware of it especially when it is with kids 
and you're standing among them, you're, you're like literally taller than all of them. And um, unless they're middle schoolers or above, because I'm short and <laughs> we're both short. We're both very short. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but like, I don't know, when I when I am in a position of power and I like for a school project or um, something at work, then I kind of just want to get the work done because it's important to get the work done and get it done right and stuff for the benefit of others. And I'm not really thinking about my position at that point. So I'm not being arrogant with it or whatever. Like, I'm just really, I'm, I am thinking of other people and like, I want to get it done for them and yeah. do it, do it right for them and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's about it. Like, there's not that many questions for this day. Do I appreciate the special qualities? Yeah. The, it's like more and more as I learn how, cause like going through a gifted program, I know that some people talk about mainstreaming is better and stuff, but I am like grateful that I went through a middle school where the gifted kids were all together for like all three years and like but it's like the more as i get into the adult world and realize oh some people really are slow <laughs> i don't know <laughs> or or just not like quick well, you learn how to like how to talk with different folks <clears throat> with different, yeah but and different it strokes. does make me gifted for i mean i'm sorry appreciative of what i have and or when i learn like oh it's not normal to have such a good memory or it's not normal to be organized or um yeah, or even like <laughs> i was thinking like the difference of because I've had so many roommates now where they just set the microwave going and then they take the thing out and when because I, I learned like okay I learned by by actual minutes like put this in for three minutes put this in for one minute yes. like and to like to judge time based on actual minutes and wait for the microwave to be done but it's so funny like I've, I've lived with so many people now who just set the microwave going and pull it out when they think it's done or they'll put it back in or something and like they'll set the microwave for five minutes and pull it out at like three minutes left and why I know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wow. I mean, the only thing I do that with is popcorn because you have to listen. Yeah, you have to listen. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but like, so I'm like, maybe this this is something special to be uh, like appreciative of the fact that I like measure food temperatures. I don't, I don't know, or you like know. I know how to how to like be aware of food and the same as like cooking. Well, I still have to look up recipes all the time. I'm so afraid of like cooking meat and not doing it right. Yeah. So I'll I'll be like, okay, uh, it says 35 minutes. We're gonna go for 35 minutes. But then once I get it like used to it, I might try to go for longer, go for less, and see how it turns out. Like, but like follow the rules first and then start to experiment. But I just think it's so funny <laughs> the microwave thing. And so like I'm I'm like appreciative of the fact that I learned to set an actual time or someone taught me this and stuff like that. Yeah. So like appreciative of of things that. This is, this goes beyond my own talents too of just stuff the, the stuff I was raised with, to be appreciative of what I learned as yeah, a child like and stuff. Yeah, in the positions that we're in and like yeah. recognize that that's like, that's a thing. Yeah. I know. Yeah, like the more like because they say you won't fully appreciate your parents until you are one, and like I'm not, but like I am learning like because of my proximity to a preschool at the, where I work and just like the, then the like the kids like in the in the Hebrew school I'm like. Yeah, parents have to go through a lot. <laughs> or like listening to like the, the way the preschool teachers talk about the kid. Like they really, everyone wants the best for this one kid. And they'll be like, this kid has speech problems. We need to get them with a speech teacher. Or this one has behavioral problems. We've got to find out what's happening. And is there like autism involved or something? And, and there's just how many adults are involved behind the scenes of like a two-year-old's life or three-year-old yeah. that you would never know. You and would never know because they would never know those kids. Like, they never know how many people care about them. Yeah. And, and it's just so, it is humbling to think like how many people were behind my early life that I had no idea of. Yeah. And even my mom wouldn't have been able to describe to me all the people that she, she had to talk to about this and that or who of knows. Of course not. Yeah. It takes a village for real. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's really nice. It I like is. to see that behind the scenes stuff. So yeah, exercise for the day. Acknowledge God for creating you with personal dignity. That's easy. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, just like, say a prayer. <laughs> just say thank you. <laughs> Be thank like, you, God, for creating me with personal dignity. Yeah, that I can make choices and I can because do things. Because That's true. Yeah. Talking about, start with, yeah, with what we talked about at the beginning. I don't know. But yeah, it's just nice to be able to make choices and to move and to... I don't know, swim and breathe and like, yeah, even breathing. I would hate to be like on an iron lung or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you for Thanks. joining us. Just a very reflective day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.